When you launch the Avidyne IFD Trainer app, the IFD bezel will appear with the default IFD 550 on the screen. Notice the main menu across the top of the screen. The main menu includes Flight Control, Simulator, Databases, Documentation, Tutorials, and Settings. Under the Flight Control pull-down menu, you will see that the IFD Trainer offers three different ways to operate the simulated aircraft while using the IFD Simulator. With the Follow Flight Plan option, the IFD Trainer Sim operates as if the simulated host aircraft's autopilot is in the nav mode, flying the IFD Magenta line of the flight plan. A slider along the bottom allows you to manually set the airspeed of the simulated host aircraft. Altitude is controlled by the FMS vertical navigation settings. When you select Autopilot, the IFD Trainer Sim operates as if the simulated host aircraft autopilot is in heading mode, flying the heading bug on the map. The slider controls are provided along the bottom for manually setting the heading bug. There is also a slider control for setting the airspeed. An altitude slider control appears vertically on the right side. In manual mode, the simulator will track your manual inputs using the joystick controller that appears on the iPad touchscreen. Up pushes the stick forward to descend. Down pulls the stick back to climb. Left and right buttons provide roll input. The center button neutralizes the input. Airspeed is set using the slider control. Under the simulator pull-down menu, you will see that the IFD trainer allows you to change the simulation rate. The default setting allows you to fly the actual flight plans and approaches in real time. Or you can speed them up at two times or up to four times the speed. These settings are helpful when the sim is flying long in route legs. There is also a handy pause setting so you can freeze the simulator. These settings can be changed at any time during your flight. Under the databases menu, there is an option for demo worldwide, and one for Jeppesen. Let's start by clicking on Demo Worldwide. You will see that Worldwide Navdata, Obstacles and Map databases are already available, as they are included with the app at the time of download, and are shown with green checkmarks. North America Terrain Data was downloaded automatically during registration and is checked as well. The first time you use the app, you will need to download the Electronic Approach Charts database. You can also download additional terrain regions if you desire. Please note that a connection to Wi-Fi is required to complete these functions. To download the electronic approach charts, click on the blue cloud download icon next to charts and then hit download in the lower right corner. A progress bar along the bottom of the screen monitors download progress. After a short amount of time, a green check will replace the blue cloud icon next to the charts signifying the download is complete. Hit exit in lower left corner when the database uploads are complete. The IFD Trainer app will automatically close and you will need to restart the app for changes to take effect. Optionally, if you have a current Jeppesen database account, you can choose to download the most current Jeppesen data so it is current and matches what you would most likely have in the IFD installed in your actual aircraft. This is not required for demo use. Enter your Jeppesen user account information here. Then select appropriate data types as described previously. Under the main menu, Documentation. Use this page if you would like to download PDF versions of the current pilot's guides and quick reference guides for each of the IFD products. Please note this requires a Wi-Fi connection. Under Tutorials. Use this page to view IFD and IFD simulator instructional videos. These videos will be updated on occasion so this list will update dynamically. Please note this function also requires a Wi-Fi connection. Under the Settings menu, you can select which of the six IFD models you would like to emulate. The application must exit and be restarted for selection to take effect. Finally, to emulate rotation of the knobs, touch the small blue arrows and slide up or down to rotate each of the small knobs. Touch the larger red arrows and slide up or down to rotate the larger knobs.